EA Sports. It's in the game. Oh, hey, welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep, and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. No, I actually don't smoke. This is actually a... <laughs> it's a chocolate cigar. I love these. I love chocolate cigars. Now I got a mess all over the place. So, hmm... What do we talk about uh, this time around? Let's talk about why everyone hates EA. It's like the favorite subject that everyone has is EA. But not only that, is it a good idea to buy stock? Especially now. Well, let's find out here. So... Uh, I'm not going to read this whole thing because it's awfully long, but I'll have the link in the description. You can check this out. This looks like Ryan Johnson. <laughs> EA is often portrayed as one of gaming's biggest villains, and they know it, even if they don't agree. The large number of big corporations are viewed as evil money grabbers looking to screw over their customers. In the gaming world, that role of faceless conglomerate out to get you goes to EA. Its reputation for villainy, for scum and villainy, has been built over a number of years. It comes from a combination of business decisions EA has made, as well as from reactions to its desired development direction. The biggest and most con consistent gripes are with loot boxes, um, or surprise mechanics, and DLC, both of which are prevalent in EA titles. This is a, a funny meme right here, but it says, it says here, this is like an interview, a job interview. And the uh, uh, manager is like, it says here that this is page one of two. He's like, yep, page two is DLC and it costs five bucks. He's like, welcome aboard. <laughs> it just happens to be the EA office. So if everyone hates EA, why do they why are they still making a lot of money? Well, one of the things is that EA tends to buy out a lot of the things that we like. Um such as Ultima, Command and Conquer, Battlefield, Burnout, Baldur's Gate. Uh they bought out Maxis, so they have the Sims. Uh they they took over BioWare. Um, so they now have Mass Effect and Dragon Age. They have Anthem, but yeah, that's one of those things you don't really want to talk about. Uh, they also have a deal with uh, Disney and uh, in regards to Star Wars, so Star Wars games. And then, of course, there are uh, the games uh, like Plants vs. Zombie, Zombies and Bejeweled. There is the game Apex, uh, e Epix, Apex Legends, which is... Uh, <clears throat> it's funny, this says, It's proved itself strong competition for Battle Royale Juggernaut Fortnite. Well, that'll be the other part of the uh, video that we're going to be doing. So, oh, and sports. Uh EA has got exclusive licenses to all the major sports. NBA, uh, NHL, FIFA. The only one that I've not seen them uh, really able to do is, is baseball. I usually see that from other companies. But yeah, so they have, they have all these... Uh, they basically, they got their hands in like all these different pots. And so... You know they're able to make a lot of a lot of money uh, because of that. So yeah, people hate them, but they're able to get 
uh, business and buyers from different areas of different types of gamers. So that's why they're still in business. Now, the question is, is it worth buying stock in EA? Well, that gets to our second article here, which is in regards to Apex Legends Season 2. Um, this is coming from The Motley Fool. Well, apparently it was a disappointment and EA stock had dropped down sharply uh, again after the uh, game update didn't get enough launch buzz. So in this article, it's talking about how it's been rough going for Electronic Arts. The video game company stock is down nearly 40% from its all-time highs after another pullback. This time, the blame can be laid on Season 2 of Apex Le Legends. Some other games that we know that have caused problems is uh, Star Wars Battlefront. Um, that whole thing with the loot boxes kind of kind of hurt it a bit, too. And so, uh, it goes into about, it goes in with Apex Legends a little bit, how it's got widespread appeal across regions, ages, and sexes, and the ability to customize characters' appearances and gameplay style. But, coming down here to the bottom, it's like, is this a sign of trouble for the uh, company, or is this just a speed bump? Well, just by looking at the other uh, article in regards to, you know, why, if everyone hates them, why are they still making money? So, is this a sign of trouble for the company? No, it, it's not. It's, yeah, it's, it's a speed bump. So, the optimism surrounding EA faded fast when Apex Legends Season 2 was released in July 2019, there were signs that the title was already losing steam. Um, talks about Twitch. Um, it should be noted that Twitch viewers do not exactly correlate to how many players there are. Nevertheless, this wasn't the first whisper that EA's free-to-play entry was losing some of its shine. Uh, we'll have to wait until EA's next earnings call, which is on July 30th, to know for certain how its video game hit its fairing. But this author, uh, and I would agree actually, he says, nevertheless, I wouldn't write off EA on one game because there are other, uh, there are other games that they've got going, such as The Sims and uh, FIFA Soccer. They continue to generate plenty of gamer interest. There's Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, uh, which comes out in the fall. Uh, the Sims has recently uh, is going for, through a rebranding. I have another video about that. And they're showing that there's going to be many, many more expansion packs, stuff packs, and uh, game packs uh, for The Sims 4. It's been out for five years now. Usually, with all the other Sims games, that's been around the lifespan of a particular Sim game. And they're rebranding it because they're going to extend it further out. <clears throat> but um, kind of ending here, he says, after the recent tumble, the stock trades for 20 times trailing 12 month free cash flow. It isn't cheap, but it isn't expensive either. Considering how popular video games are these days, EA has a lot going for it. And it looks like the negative reaction to Apex uh, Legends Season 2 is a little overdone. I'd recommend buying a little now and be ready to buy more at the stock dips again after the next quarter re report. So, yeah, I, I've said this on other videos before. Uh, when it comes to investing, and you should, you should invest. Let your money do something for you. Are you going to lose some money? Yes, you're going to lose some money. Are you going to gain money? Yes, you are. Um... But you want to invest for the long term. It's like putting putting money away in savings, but let that money work for you. Let it do its thing, um, and, and just don't touch it. You know, for twenty, thirty, forty years, whatever. You know, and it's going to make money for you. It's going to do a lot more for you than what a bank will. But with that in mind, 
you should always set money aside in a bank too. build a build a savings account to use for things like emergencies should get away from credit cards honestly but let's talk, take a look at EA stock alright so this is uh, EA stock and how it's been uh, trending this here oh, I can't like highlight it but right here in the center this is last year 2018 you can see it was hit hard uh, right around July August uh, I believe this right here was the stuff going on with Battlefield uh, the Star Wars I'm sorry Star Wars Battlefront 2 and then it's been going down ever since but you need to keep in mind the market as a whole was going down too that, that that didn't really happen too much until the end of the year but there's a lot of stuff going on right here that was causing the market to fall um, and EA was already getting being sluggish at that time but right at the uh, end of 2018 and going into 2019 it started going back up uh, it's having a bit of a hard time it's kind of settling down right in this area so the stock has been as high as hundred and fifty dollars a share and right now it's ninety two dollars a share so like the guy was saying it's not cheap but it's not overly expensive either um, I myself I would actually like to get a share or two uh, in EA and if I made money off of it I would like buy some more uh, <laughs> uh, expansions for Sims 4 but um, right now I'm allocating my money to other um, other companies other shares I'm trying to build build my portfolio up in some other areas uh, Nvidia is like one of them Apple even though I'm not a fan of Apple I've I can't deny the fact that they are a very uh, worthy um, the company's got a lot of worth to it so can't deny that just like McDonald's McDonald's has has got a lot of value to it um, and I'm not a fan of McDonald's I don't eat there but you know the company is very valuable that's another good stock to actually invest in but um, yeah so what the guy is saying is like buy one share or two shares for now don't buy a whole bunch just buy you know a share or two and then if the market goes down well don't sell it just buy some more you know think of it as a sale I was like oh man EA's got a sale you know it's kind of like I mean how many times have you like maybe bought something uh, and then later on it goes on sale and you're like oh well at least I can get some more uh, like um, I don't know cereal or something from the grocery store uh, meat or you know you, you buy it and you're like oh man there's a sale this you know next week but you're like well let me just get some and I'll put in the freezer so this is along the same lines if you if you like EA or if the stock attracts you um, then buy a share or two you know don't get crazy just buy you know buy one or two shares hold on to them and if the market goes up and it starts making money great you know keep an eye on your stock um, you don't need to do it every day that'll drive you nuts but you know keep an eye on it uh, maybe once a week once a month or you know just don't bother with it at all <laughs> just leave it alone um, and just kind of keep an eye I mean this if I zoom out here I mean over here is like 2008 but you can see its high point was right here in 2018 it's been going steadily up since uh, 2013 but that doesn't mean that's going to keep doing that so if the stock manages to come up uh, around here to around 140 or 150 um, me personally I would probably sell it um, but you know if, if you buy one share now and sell it when it gets close to 150 well shoot you just made yourself 60 bucks go get yourself an EA game <laughs> get 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 a game from someone else you know 
Um, and then if, if it just happens to fall, maybe it goes falls down to 60, $60. Well, get another share, get another share or two. And then when, when it starts going back up again, and well, you'll make, you'll wind up making more. So, you know, that's just something to, to consider when it comes to investing. Um, you don't want to let your emotions control you because they will, um, they'll devastate you like every single time so just look for the things that you like remember when you're buying a share you're buying a piece of the company it's kind of like you're going into business with them um, so if if the business does really well you're gonna do well if the company is struggling well you're gonna struggle along with them so buying a share is kind of like being a business partner um, Really? I mean, yeah, you can look at this as gambling, but then there's a lot of things on this world that can be considered gambling. You can get in your car and drive down the road and you're gambling your life life away because you don't know if someone's going to run a red light and slam into you or something. But um, yeah, just uh, think of this as, you know, you're going into business with someone and the business is doing good. Well, you're going to do good also. But don't put all your money in one spot in the market. Spread it out. Um, don't spread it out too much, but spread it out into different areas um, of the market and build your portfolio up. And then leave it alone. You know, there are some things that I'm investing in on the long term, and there's some things that I'm investing in uh, on the short term. Uh, some things that I'll keep for a bit and then sell it when it gets to a certain point. So that's another thing. Have a game plan. Now, am I some rich uh, investor? Uh, no. <laughs> you know, I mean, look. I mean, look. Look at my uh, surroundings behind me. Does it look like I live in some rich house? No. <laughs> that's a brick wall back there. I'm in a. I'm in a side room with not the greatest of. Uh, uh, insulation but so you know hey what do I know I'm just telling you um, as far as what I've experienced as far as uh, how I've lost money and pretty much the direction that I'm going with investing now I have actually made I made close to three thousand um, dollars before and that was just having investing in like four companies and building up my stock between them and I made close to three thousand dollars within like three years so you know it can be done you just need to have a little bit of patience uh, do a little bit of research and you know like I said let your money let your money work for you um, but that's it that's all I've 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 really got uh, in regards to uh, this uh, subject. So, what do you think about all this? Do you um, do you think EA is fine? Uh, how many EA games do you have? Which one's your favorite? Um, do you play a lot of EA games? Um, are you an investor? Do you have any stock in EA or are you planning on on getting some or just are you going to jump out of it while you still can? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. I'm always interested in hearing from you. And if you're new, consider subscribing and being a part of the Killer Nation here on Killer Television. Um, uh, you'll get to know when the next video uh, goes up, whether it's from this series or many of the other types of videos that I do on this channel. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you on another rambling video.